Hello and welcome back to Pray, Plan, Repeat. I am Chanel. Thank you so much for coming by. So, I know this is a little too much going on here for this channel. I am so sorry, but I just filmed for my other channel and I am loving this look right now. So, I was like, you know what? We gonna keep this going, okay? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I did my tree haul a while ago and I had filmed... Let's put it this way. I slacked a lot, but I did catch some, um, I did, I'm going to add some clips in here of some things that I did create with, um, the, um, grocery haul I did do. Um, I have been slacking on editing videos and all the other stuff. I already know it. I am trying to do better. I'm trying to see if I can get hubby to, um, edit some videos for me at least for this channel he because um I just don't have time to do it and then I forget so as you know you see them the videos popping up uh, the different things that I have made uh, other things that I've made that I did not show up I mean didn't, that didn't pop up I made um oh that hurts I made chicken enchiladas um I did do the chicken tacos um we end up having fish um, with some rice. I did uh, my own beans because I buy the dry pinto beans. I did make I did make my bean and cheese burritos. So I love those. Um, I didn't show you guys everything that I've made because I did have some stuff already in the freezer. And then for like a week and a half, or was it two weeks? Just about. I didn't buy anything and I made some meatballs. What else did I make? Um, I did meal prep um, overnight oats. Um, I do make my um, own pancakes. So I do a lot of pancakes all at one time. And this is for breakfast for the boys. A lot of pancakes all at one time and then I freeze them. And as the pancakes run out out of the refrigerator, the boys know to grab them out the freezer and to put them in the refrigerator, um, so they can always have some in the refrigerator. Whenever they take the last one, they are they are supposed to take them out the freezer and put them in the refrigerator so they can you know keep going. Um, so those are um, some of the items that I did do. I did try and I made um, oat flour pancakes. Where I, I made my own oat flour. I just get, use I just ground up some um, oatmeal, um, the old fashioned oats, and I grounded it up into powder. And I used that as my flour to make pancakes. Because me and my husband slightly think that our youngest one might have um, a gluten intolerance, because it seems like whenever he eats anything with bread. Um, he throws up. So <laughs> we're trying to do this week. We're testing out this week where um, we're not giving him any kind of bread. Um, and we're trying to use alternative situations for bread because he loves peanut butter and jelly. So um, exactly. So <laughs> I'm doing a different way for the pancakes because he loves pancakes. So uh, when I tested them out. I gave him one and I asked him how did he like it. He sat there and ate the whole thing and he wanted another one. So I finished off the batch of pancakes that I made just for him. And those are in the refrigerator for him and he likes those thus far. Um, I did make the boys little snacks. Let me go ahead and show you those because they have not even gone through all those yet. Oh, I forgot to mention that I made, sp I made spaghetti too and the boys love spaghetti. And they can eat spaghetti for like three nights in a row. Then one night in the middle of all that, I gave them hot dogs and fries because they love hot dogs and they love french fries. So that's what I made them. Um, but yeah, so um, just to show you guys, I use these containers right here, the ones with the little handle. I got these from uh, the Dollar Tree. And these are what I keep in my refrigerator. This one happens to be empty <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, I will stack up um, pancakes in here. And it will sit in the refrigerator and the boys, the the pancakes are in lunch baggies and I reuse the lunch baggies 
I just wash them out and reuse them. They only have pancakes in them, so it's perfectly fine. I can reuse them. And um, I stay, they stack up in here, and the boys just grab them, pop them in the microwave, or in the toaster, whichever one they want to do that morning. Because sometimes in the morning, I'm not at home. I mean, yeah, I'm not at home. I'm at work. Like, I'll go in like at 5.15 or 5.30 in the morning, and they don't get up till 7. So this saves hubby from having to get up and make them breakfast. It's already made, and the boys know how to use the microwave. So, that. This one's empty though because I usually have this one filled with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But as you can see, it's currently empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, in the morning, if um, they don't want pancakes, um, they do have uh, the option of something else. They can also eat at school. Um, in this school district that they currently go in, um, all students eat breakfast for free <laughs> um, so they can go to school and have breakfast too but um, I also have like this little breakfast basket here that includes granola bars and these are the granola bars from Aldi's um, I pick up these if I forget or if I haven't picked up the really big box of granola bars from Costco um, I usually go with these and they love these things and then remember that box of cereal I showed you guys? Well, I put cereal in little baggies just like this. Like, these are the baggies I use. I wash them and reuse them, okay? So there's nothing wrong with that. There's no raw food. There's no raw meat in here, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so I put them in here. And sometimes they'll, they'll take this and they'll eat it as they're walking to the bus stop. Or if they get home from school and they want a snack. They go into this one here that also has some cereal in here. Ah! <laughs> they go into this, this behemoth right here. So I have this one here. This one stays in my cabinet on the top shelf. If Whenever they want a snack that's not an apple or an orange, which I usually keep those in a, another container on my table. So they don't have to go in the refrigerator. They don't got to do nothing. Because my rule is once you come in my house, you have to wash your hands, especially them, because they be kids be sick all the time they have to come in the house take off their shoes put their backpack and stuff away um or they start saying if if they don't have homework if they have homework they start in their homework but they have to wash their hands before they touch anything and then they can have a snack right before they step they start their homework they have an option of a fruit which is always on the tables either apple or orange or cuties let me go ahead and get that basket too so this is just a a clear container i picked up at Dollar Tree with a napkin inside and I wash all my few fruit first and then I let it air dry I put half of the fruit back in the refrigerator and the other ones I put it right here as you can see I got a couple apples and some cuties in here and it sits on my kitchen table um, so whenever they want a fruit a healthy snack is right here I also do um, little baggies with carrots in there they, they don't like celery so I just don't even try that no more but they love carrots, so I also do carrots. Plus, they have carrots a lot of times with their um, as their veggie um, or one of their sides during dinner time, and they just they love carrots. They love broccoli too, but I don't give them broccoli as a snack. But yeah, so this is one option. This is healthy snack that's always available on the table. Now back to this big baby here. So this is also a basket from the Dollar Tree, right? Dollar Tree? Yes, Dollar Tree. I am tripping you guys. But yeah, that's how big this basket is. This is what's inside. I also have, you know, more snacks that I did buy. I purchased. Remember the, the big um, thing of um, pretzels I bought? I pre-bagged these pretzels just like this. And they have the option of having pretzels for a snack. They also have the option of having cereal for a snack if they want it. And then they also have, you know, the choice of having a Rice Krispie Treat or what else is in here? We got peanut butter crackers. We got some fruit snacks. Um, we got some fruit roll-ups in here. We got more granola bars. So this doesn't always stay the same. It always changes um, once it runs out. Um, but I usually buy these in bulk um, from Costco. And I believe this is like the regular size 
these aren't the mini ones and um, they come in a box of 60 and the reason why I go ahead and I buy them in bulk is because I buy this, them in smaller ones even though I um, I tell my kids that I count everything so they can't be trying to jump in here and take extra stuff that's what I tell them I don't do that but that's what I tell them. <laughs> um, my husband loves these he loves these and he has his own little snack basket that's in the kitchen in the cabinet so do I I have one too okay I can't leave myself out so yeah we have our own little basket that we can just go and just grab our snacks if we want and I always refill them but he loves these so because he loves these and I don't want him taking theirs that's why I buy the box with 60 I also buy a big bag a big box of fruit snacks for the boys every now and then I get fruit snacks I mean, fruit roll-ups, not a lot of times, but yeah. So, a lot of their snacks are not healthy. Um, sometimes they want candy as a snack, and if it's in the house, they can have it. Um, or they have chips, you know. It could be, all these has a lot of good chips there. They have their veggie chips, which my boys love those. Um, I love those too, and I started eating them first, and then they liked them. But... Over here, we don't eat healthy 24-7, 365. We just don't. We eat what we like, okay? And my boys like stuff like this. So, <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I just want to show you guys some of the things that um, I do do for my kids that they do like. Um, I do have to replace my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. As you can see, my basket is empty. That, and because I need to do another grocery haul. But I didn't go grocery shopping because I ran out of lunch bread. And I usually keep some in my deep freezer. But like I said, I ran out. We didn't go shopping for them couple weeks. I purposefully did it. <laughs> and we ran out of a lot of stuff. So for this, like I said, you know, I keep this stock. And I don't let them just have snack after snack after snack. No, they usually have like one of these. One item from this, this basket a day but um they can have as much fruit as they want if they want it so um I, I do try to keep it healthy here i really do um but yeah so i know this is a, a planning um channel but i wanted to show you guys you know some of the things that i do do at home to help myself out um to help out my husband when i'm at work and I'm not here to do it for him, which he loves it. He's like, oh, you just just, 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 he's like, so he likes me meal prepping, having everything set so he doesn't have to think about it because he comes home from work like early in the morning, like two, three o'clock in the morning, probably doesn't go to bed to like four or five, and then he has to get up at seven to make sure the boys are ready for school, especially if I'm not at home. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, you know, that's all cool. That's all right. We both got to work. We both got jobs. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. But, yeah. So, I just wanted to share this, you guys, with you, share this with you guys. So, if you guys enjoy these little sit down and talking videos, let me know. Because I got another one coming up. I already know it's coming up because I'm about to film it after this one. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys really enjoyed knowing a little, little about what I do at home in my kitchen. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. And um, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed. And if anything here helped you out, girl, you are so welcome. I'm so happy I can help you. I know I've been slacking on these videos lately. But, um... A lot of things been going on lately so um I wasn't I wasn't pressuring myself to upload any videos but yeah so anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again later bye